um and the lady was like oh they have to order the part it'll be three to five days i said excuse me she said, y'all this is my hair with no bonnet on or anything it's just yeah ridiculous um when i tell you i am hungover ciao i took it to leave i drank a lot of water and then it's me you have a good time last night baby yeah i sure did yeah we went swimming and and we and i played fortnite you played fortnite we, there was a lot of kids there huh I know. It was a lot of kids. It was a lot I was of kids. A, but, I, but guys, hashtag I wasn't drinking alcohol. You? <laughs> I was not drinking alcohol. 70% off of these shoes. Let me see how much they are. Look at these shoes, JB. Look. Look. Oh my god, Coraline boots. <laughs> Over here, JB. Come over here. Oh, upstairs is still Forever 21. You want to come play over here? Watch out, boo boo. Oh my god. I'm going to get hit by a hippo. Y'all, look, 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 look what's going on here. Look what's going on here. Look what's going on. I'm, I'm going to have to explain that here in a minute. Let me turn on this fan. I mean, turn down this. I'm delirious, y'all. Whoo, shoot. What's that noise? Oh, I'm frying tortillas. Hold on, y'all. I'm, I'm too hot to do that. So today, I was supposed to have the oven serviced, right? Let me turn it off. That's what that's what happens when water hits it, whatever. Um, so why do I get home and I look, I notice it's kind of warm inside here. I check the thermostat, it says 80 degrees. I'm like, hmm. I wonder if my husband has changed the thermostat, right? So I go pick up JB, come back. It says 82 degrees. Mind you, I changed it. I, I made it cooler. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is it 82 degrees when I made it cooler? So, child, two hours later, I call my husband. I'm like, what is going on? Did you change it? I'm sorry, like an hour later, I call my husband. I'm like, did you do something? Did you change the thermostat? He's like, no, what's going on? I said, it's on 74, but it's reading 82 in here. And he got real quiet. He's like, what? I said, it's reading 82 inside the house and it's very warm in here. He's like, that means it's not blowing, it's not working. So I hurried up and texted the guy who was on his way to look at the oven and I'm like, you know what? Um, I don't need you anymore to look at the oven because our AC doesn't work. Not only is it hot, let me look up the temperature. Where's my phone at? So right now, whew, it's 5.44, almost six, six o'clock. And it is reading at 106. I know you can't see this. Up, it's flipped. It's 106. Now, when I got home, it was hitting around 111. So I popped. When I tell you I snapped on my husband, he's like, "Well, um, I said, you know, I'm this close to getting a hotel room." He's like, "You're over exaggerating. All the rooms have a fan." I said, "Over exaggerating my ass." It is 106 outside, and the guy just said that our AC is barely working because we have less than half Freon. So it's reading, right now it's reading 85 degrees inside the house. 85 feels muggy. What you hear are two big ass fans on me, and the ceiling fans on. Yeah, we have ceiling fans, but we have bolted ceilings, so the heat, let me calm down. I'm waiting for these people to get here. I know that at this point they may not, they could just diagnose, do a diagnosis, which is gonna be another a hundred dollars. We're shilling, shilling out for these people, a hundred dollars. I paid the last guy $30. These people are gonna be a hundred dollars just to look at it. That's the diagnostic fee. Imaging thing was off, y'all. Oh, is this the next day? So, I'm in JD's room. JB's room is the coolest room in the house. Um, we did not sleep well. 
my neighbors kept JB till around 6 30. Uh, the service tech called at like 8 o'clock and it was like I'm in Gilbert which is an hour away from us I said that's okay come first thing in the morning so uh, around 5 o'clock in the morning 4 o'clock I woke up my husband woke up at 5 because we tossing and turning he had to end up turning off the AC because it's a leak and if you keep the AC on it will just make the leak worse yeah turn it off and right now it is a little after 8 and it's already 95 degrees yes 820 it's already 94 95 degrees it's supposed to be a high of like I don't know hot today is supposed to reach 106 yeah it'll be it'll be almost 100 within two hours La yesterday ironically I made a crock pot dish but I was so hot I'm like I didn't even eat that till later on I made tacos um I'm not cooking today I think I'm gonna run to um, either Chipotle or this one little Mexican food place and just get some rice, a bunch of rice to go and eat that with the leftover meat that I made last night in the crock pot. I got this sandwich from Starbucks. Mm. And you know what, yesterday I didn't notice anything was wrong because I went to go meet a girlfriend for lunch. Which, by the way, I took off today from work because when it's hot like this, if you hear something, we have the solar panel people are on the ceiling. Excuse me, on the ceiling, on the roof because apparently there's something wrong with one of our solar panels. Y'all, this house, it has been a trying ass year for us with this house. And it's not an old house. It's just one thing after another after another. So, Apparently something's wrong. APS contacted us and said there's something wrong with one of the solar panels because we started dipping in to our energy through which is through an electric company out here called, excuse me, energy company out here called APS. When I tell you that I am so agitated and with the heat it, with, with anybody, with the heat it, it increases your agitation, you become irritable when you're hot. So these, I'm gonna try not to curse, I said something. After two hours for waiting for a phone call back from the technician, mind you, he said he would give us a call after an hour. That was at 9.30. Come noon, we still hadn't received a phone call. So I gave them a call. They have a customer service number. Um, and the lady was like, oh, they have to order the part. It'll be three to five days. I said, excuse me? She's like, well, yeah, they, they couldn't find the part in Phoenix and we expedited the part. I said okay let me go so i'm gonna go talk to my husband and he's like what i said yeah they're telling us it will take three to five days you know five days the maximum i'm like y'all oh my god <laughs> pancakes where are you up jumping up and down yeah. Yeah, so good. Good. we are in a hotel room and I got cookies. I'm eating cold in and out because it took us forever to check in. Mm -hmm. Jamie, you're in the way, okay? Don't get that cookie up here. Is it good? Yep. Yeah. Good. The reason why we're here is that the AC is literally out now at this point. I know. And it was getting worse and worse. Um. My neighbors are so sweet. They ask if um, JB wanted to come over there. Ow, JB. They ask if JB wanted to come over there around four. Y'all, this child is hyper and I'm not in the mood. Around four o'clock, they want to know, you are hyper. And so around four o'clock, I dropped him off there so that I could have some time to myself and relax. I haven't, I didn't work today. Um, you did? You did. No, JB, because it was so hot inside the house and I was trying to get the house fit. So anyway, 5.30 rooms around. I'm literally sweating. I'm in JB's room. I have the fan on. I have a, a, a tower fan on. I'm sweating. I go read the thermostat. JB, stop it. Stop it. Don't jump up. But now we're on the third floor. 87 degrees inside the house. I went ahead and looked online, booked the hotel room. This is a nicer one. This is the Hampton Inn, Hampton Suites. And, this, yeah, and um, yeah, JB has his own bed. We have our own bed. 
Yeah, let me get a bite of this while it's lukewarm. It's cold. I don't like. I don't Shut like cold food bed. at all. I'm not showing in the bed, baby. You guys, it's the next morning. Sleep was eventful. I'm not tired, but I didn't, I'm not rested, if that makes sense. That bed hurt my back. I think it was the pillows. <sighs> Jamie said the bed relaxes tummy. This is what I'm looking like this morning. Cause I threw everything in my backpack. I'm just wearing whatever. So I um, look like this morning. <laughs> Jamie's all wrinkly. My husband's trying to sleep so I can't wrinkle his, Aaron iron his little shorts. If it's not too hot in the house, I may iron it. <clears throat> We're gonna go down to breakfast. They have a good breakfast. Lay it out. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. So you guys, um, no, it ain't no haunted hotel. I rebuke that haunted hotel theory. Uh, I'll, I'll explain to y'all in a little bit what we're gonna do later on today. We're not gonna. We're still gonna be in a hotel for the, a couple of days, just not this particular one. Um. We're in a jail cell. Hmm? We're in a jail cell. We're not in a jail cell. This is where they have breakfast at, right out here. Come on, baby. Let's go this way. And the breakfast is in this little room over here, okay? You smell it? Back this way, sweetheart. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they have all the breakfast. So they have their cereals over here with milk, mango. I don't know what this is for. Oh, fresh juice. They have banana strawberry juice, baby. I don't know if that's my favorite. They have hot food over here with oatmeal. Oh, mini waffles. Yeah, I do like mini waffles. Are you going to drink that juice or you want me to get you some apple juice? Apple juice. Has a mouth. Has a mouth. Wait, that's not where you put your mouth. Mm. <clears throat> Man. Hey y'all, so it is Thursday morning and yeah, this is after I dropped JB off at home, at school, excuse me. Yeah, I love me some Kendrick Lamar. I love me an intellectual rapper. My biggest, I know, I'm, I'm gonna get to the house, girl. My, I, for the longest, I had a crush on um, Moss Def. Moss Def, the rapper who is now y'all seeing big since he's Muslim, you know unevenly yoked but that's okay girl you know he, he has issues he has he has uh baby mama issues child support issues um that's why he fled the country anyway um yeah y'all yesterday that house got up to 87 and i don't know if i said this so i do apologize if it's repetitive so we went to we were staying at i don't know what this is called but when i tell you the hotel is old I didn't really fall asleep till my husband came home around midnight, came to the hotel. He got there around 1130, we fell asleep around midnight. I mean, the AC is, I mean, it's just an older hotel, so you can hear everything. Like, my husband is heavy-footed child. So I can hear him every five minutes when he go up to go to the bathroom. He goes to the bathroom a lot in the middle of the night. So even when he came in, he was like, what the hell? And it's a small room. I thought I had got a suite because it said sofa bed in the description, but everything is in one tiny room. So we need a little bit more space only because all of us are on different schedules so you know so we, we can get through the the next few nights then um he went ahead and booked a room actually right here can you see this building right here that building right there is a hilton and they have a complete suite with uh, a little mini kitchen Hey, you guys, we're in another apartment, not apartment, another hotel, it feels like an apartment. It could be a New York apartment, so I want to go get some groceries for a little kitchenette. Um, we're gonna be here for a while. Like, yeah, we're gonna be here for a minute, at least to the end of the week. Um, 
and since we just took all this money on hotels, we definitely need to eat in. This is what I'm making for dinner for us and a two burner stove hotel room. After I had the little girl at the front desk show me how to operate this thing. We have mashed potatoes. These are gonna be garlic mashed potatoes. We have corn and we have chicken with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach. Sorry, let's let that, yeah, it's, it's, let's go this way. Chicken with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach and a cream sauce. Y'all seen me cook this before. Tons of garlic, tons of seasoning, bubbling away. It is done. I'm tired. Tomorrow's wash day is Friday. My husband actually extended the hotel until Sunday. I made the little girl at the front desk a plate to kind of smooch her over. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, because I had her to show me how to uh, how to work the stove. And I was like, um, so you, you mean to tell me I ain't gonna be able to cook my uh, chicken and um, sun-fried tomato with spinach and, and heavy cream sauce? She looked at me, she's like, oh, that sounds good. I said, okay. So my husband was like, why don't you go ahead and give her some and give her some potatoes too um, so we can get a discount. So that's okay. I was gonna give her a little plate and I gave her a little bowl of chicken. Y'all, that food was so good. So yeah, he extended that we will be here all weekend. Do you want me to push the button for you? I got it. You got it? Okay. All right, y'all. Oh, get me some white wine. Oh, look. Look at that. What are these for? Is this for burgers? I don't know what this is for. Hmm. Hi. Good. My little boy thought this was apple juice. <laughs> Really? Oh yeah, this right here. I said, oh no, I think that's beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my No, he did not drink it. No, he's only six. No, he's he did not drink it. You know what? Yeah, a lot of kids they really think it's dark milk. But if you want apple juice, I do have apple juice inside. You do? Yes. Okay. We got the machine inside, and it's okay. only you know in the morning. Okay. But I got the machine. So it's okay. Yeah, it's he'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He doesn't need. No, he's okay. <laughs> I'll ask him when I go back up there. Okay, thank you. Nice. I think they have macaroni and cheese over here. <gasps> they got pulled pork. I can't do that. Oh, y'all. It's Friday. It's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Hey, hey. <laughs> Lord, y'all, I did sleep last night, which was good. Um, my husband extended, did I say this? My husband extended our stay in a hotel. Who will be in there all week? Um, I'm discombobulated, combobulated, whatever the hell you say, how you pronounce it, because I'm all over the place. Because since we all have different schedules, I have a program that just jumped off. It is launching like next week. JB has school stuff. He had a quiz today, which I did not prepare for. I did let his teacher know that we've been living in and out of hotels all week. I have not done anything homework wise with him. He's been with neighbors. He's been with me. It's just been, our schedule has been disrupted clearly. And I told him, I said, baby, don't worry about the test. You will more than likely fail today, but that is okay. Don't worry about it. Um, he has this little project that's due like next week, mid next week. And I'm like, oh my God. So I got to start doing stuff for that. Or I'm going to get behind. Um, I am very behind on work. I worked probably an hour yesterday. I did not work the day before. I'm trying to do some work today. And then my hair. My hair is very dirty. The last time my hair was washed was when, was when Miss Arlette washed my hair. And when was that? Let me look at my calendar. My, my scalp is itchy. I can feel it. Um, I have all my stuff in the hotel, but I have no other choice to blow out my hair, which I'm really am trying to watch the heat I put on my hair. But I was trying to think, okay, normally what I do, you guys, after I wash my hair, I pin it up in hair clips hair clips, and leave it wet. But I'm going to be running around, you know, doing stuff. I can't have wet hair, basically. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. All right, y'all. So, wash day in the hotel room. I literally have two and a half hours. I'm going to clock get two hours from washing my hair, excuse me, roughly trying to 
separate detangle my hair mind you it's been up like this for about two weeks um roughly detangle wash deep condition and blow dry my hair in two hours two and a half max. i want to show you what my hair looks like after blowing it out washing it blowing it out not too bad i was able to do everything in two and a half hours exactly so i just posted on youtube that i'm going to be gone for a while and i'm good i'm a, sometimes i feel so guilty because there's still so much that's had lined up but I know what's going on with the camera, so I'm hoping this setting will work better. Okay, now now she's focused in it. My other setting, it didn't have a face recognition, which is why I was going in and out of focus. Anyway, so um, he came by, put the what it was as a condenser in, went to go turn on everything, and we now have a leak. It is an evaporation leak. He basically said, I'm going to have to order this part. And it's gonna take seven business days. Not only that, but it's gonna cost you around $2,100. I said, I gotta call my husband. So I called Alex and I was like, they're telling me that it's going to take seven business days and cost $2,000. Mind you, we've already spent $700 in the first part, spent all this money on um, hotel expenses. Not only spending money on hotel expenses, but also spending money we're eating out. We're using more gas because we're going back in between the house here, JB School. The hotel is not far. And my husband's like, we need to call around other places to see what's going on because that's a lot of money. And I don't, I don't understand why we can't find anything locally. Now, y'all, I'm the type of person, let me just give you a brief background on my personality. I'm the type of person, I don't think that most people are out to scam you or have ill intentions. I just, I'm not like that. Now, I'm also, I'm not that trusting of people either. But I think overall, a company is not just out to try to scam you and get money from you. So, when this man told me it would be $2,100, yeah, of course, I thought that was on the high end. However, I did not think anything that, I basically didn't think he was purposely marking us up. So, I was like, okay. I listened to my husband. I told the guy, I said, okay, we'll, you know, we won't do this right now he said but you know what i'm gonna let you know something um the reason why it's so much money is because we have to order the part and it takes certain type of tools to put it in it's a very time time inducive uh i don't know y'all it takes a lot of time to even put in the part so there's a couple of things that we as consumers don't know that these companies do um and so i said i understand he said you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put the po in so that as soon as you call everything's set up he said, as soon as you call me, we could just push it through. I said, thank you so much. And so I asked him, I said, let me ask you a question. I get it. You know, as someone who has common sense, I understand that y'all are not Amazon. If I can't just call you up and ask for a part. He said, yeah, we have to create a PO, send it off to the company, which, which is in another state. They have to get their shipment together. The reason why I'm saying all this is because my husband kept bothering me. The first go around, he kept bothering me to keep calling these people. He said, you need to call them and see if the part is in. I said, look, man, the part is not in. It is a Saturday. The part is... You just can't call them. It doesn't work like that. It's not even a business day. Yes, they're open because it's an AC company and most AC companies out here in Phoenix are 24-7. But they're not open. They're, they're not, they won't be able to give me much information because that department is probably not available. It's a weekend. Y'all, my husband was irritating me more than anything. But we'll, we'll. So this second go around, he said, it's going to take now seven business days to get this part in addition to $2,000. My husband's like, you know, you need to call around, yada, yada, yada. I said, cool. I had two people I had in mind to call, so I called one person. Oh, let me back up real quick, just real quick. I asked the guy, the original guy, I said, let me ask you something. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys work the same distribution companies. So if I call Joe over here, who's Joe? I don't know. If I call Joe and tell him the same thing that we're having this issue with our AC and we need this part, he's probably going to contact the same distribution companies, right? He said, yeah, we all work the same people. I said, thank you. The next day I spoke to my husband. He had been calling around with people. I had been calling my own people and we just were able to go over notes, you know, the next morning. And he's like, yeah, we might as well go back to the original guy. We wasted all that damn time because you were adamant. He's like, yeah, I called a couple of people and 
they're all saying the same thing that it's going to take a couple of days to order it to get it in and they're they're you know the cost is between 1500 to 2000 dollars. i'm like really this man could have ordered it the same day granted it's the next day but he could have ordered it then and save us one day child um we did end up staying with my neighbors the first night they're so sweet my neighbors from paris texas but even then i wouldn't be able to stay with them because i'm allergic to their cats child i woke up they have one cat i woke up at 1 a.m with my eyes so itchy so they love us so much she's like well you can take some allergy medicine and stay here <laughs> i said oh mama we gotta go mama we gotta go <laughs> they're older they're retired i said no mama we gotta we gotta go so but they were really sweet. They set up um, a couple of rooms for us. JB had his own separate room and I was in another room. But he still slept with me, child. Anyway, so at this point, we are in a hotel, another hotel. We ordered the part. It's going to take three to five, instead of seven days, it'll take three to five business days to get here. We will more than likely get the part on Friday. Um, and they will probably install it either Saturday or Monday. But even with that being said, we went ahead and booked the hotel until next Tuesday. We learned our lesson. We're like, okay, we're going to book the hotel until next Tuesday. <sighs> Had to cancel our vacation to Sedona next week. There's no way. I mean, we just spent, you know, yeah, we can't afford to do that. Let my work know what's going on. Um, they've been very, very uh, understanding, but work is, I'm trying to still be let me tell you something. I know that my job is a blessing from God. So I really try hard not to get in this fear-based mentality when things going on, happen in the organization. But I work for Cognizant. And Cognizant announced that in Q3, based on Q3, meaning quarter three, those of you who don't work in corporate America, we typically break things up in quarters throughout the year. And for a whole year, you have four quarters. So since we are a for-profit, I don't know, since we make money, girl, we are in sales, basically. And we have clients. At the end of every quarter, we look at and see how well we did. We haven't been doing that great. So the, based off of the numbers of Q3, which we're ending in right now, they're going to determine how many people they're basically are letting go. Now, my manager kind of gave me a heads up on this <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago. I'm making sure that I put in my time sheets with a lot more projects that I'm working on. That kind of scared me just a little bit. But at the end of the day, I know for a fact that God has me. When one door closes, another one opens. I am not fearful of this job. I almost, y'all, I've had to get to a point to where I almost look at, at it as like, our God is all knowing. He already knows if, if I'm going to be laid off, God forbid, if I were to be laid off, there's already another opportunity awaiting for me. Something that's even better and greater, making more money. Even if it's not more making more money, a better opportunity for me lays, lay, is later on down the road. Absolutely, I would be upset. <laughs> And you know, God, you know, if I had to go into an office, I would be upset. But I try to look at everything that could be. I try to look at the positive. I'm very optimistic. I try to look at the positive, even when going through this shit with our house. Excuse my language. Um, my husband was getting into the. He was getting upset about the hotel that we're in because it's not as nice as the other one. And we are moving to another hotel tomorrow, actually. And I had to stop him because he was going down the list of. I said, you know what? Stop. We're in air. We have AC. We have a bed. Our child has a bed. We're fed. Not only that, but we're blessed enough to be able to pay. There's no waiting. Can you wait another three or four days till we get paid? We're blessed enough financially. God has blessed us and blessed you to be able to provide to be able to pay for this damn AC up front and pay for us to stay somewhere else. Not too many people can say that they can do that. I'm sorry, not not too many people can do that. So stop your whining. I know I just did a little rant. I'm just giving y'all up here, but I just told him, I told, I didn't tell him to stop his whining. I said, we need to look at, you know, look at the positives. You know, we have a hotel, we have free breakfast. Girl, but wait a minute, when we go to the other hotel, what is he doing? I gotta hurry up to y'all. When we go to the other hotel, they have a free social. That means between five and seven, there is free unlimited alcohol, <laughs> beer and wine, and they have little um, appetizers. Now, yes, it's cheap hotel food, but it's free. So we're going to go right next door and check in there 
and it's a one bedroom suite so it has a little kitchenette right and then in two more days after that we're gonna go to the two bedroom suite and when I tell y'all look <laughs> I went over yesterday and even though I'm an introvert I know how to um I don't know how you say it. I, I, I know I, I have good people person people person skill or people skills, okay? Interrelational skills. Okay. <laughs> so um I went over next door because my husband was saying, well, I tried to get us back into our original hotel. They had the kitchen and a little bit more space, but they were booked. I said, How in the heck are they booked when we just checked out? We know why. I mean it, it is what it is. So I went over there yesterday and I'm like, um, Oh, my husband was telling me that you guys, he tried to, you know, book a hotel and you guys are booked. And I need to be over here because y'all have a kitchen and I, I like to eat. I need to cook. I need some food. She looks at me. She's like, I like you. Let me see what, let me see what we have here. <laughs> so she was able to put us in a, um, over there to their hotel starting tomorrow. So we'll be there for the remainder of the stay there. So yeah, that was, she's so funny. She said, I like you. Let me. Let me see. Did she tell my husband? She said, "Yo, your wife. She, your wife got it together. She pretty much has it together." <laughs> um, so yeah, she gave us a great deal. I'm not going to give how much, but well, the original price. But she, we're talking about like a fifty. She gave us like a fifty dollar deal. Fifty dollars less than what we were would originally pay. Yes, at night. Yes, that adds up. Absolutely adds up. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm gonna end off with this: is that I'm not only am I grateful to God for all this, I'm also grateful for my husband. When I tell you, I'm gonna try really hard not to cry, cause I tell you, I'm, I'm emotionally drained. I know a lot of women complain about there's no good men and they have a hard time finding a good man. I will say this, that it is a battle. It's an uphill battle when you're in a relationship, when you're in a marriage. It's a give or take or thing. We've talked about this before, right? It's a give or take. But when you find someone who is able to treat you right, provide, and is not in the streets acting, you know, slang and ding a ling around. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. He may not be as exciting as other people, you know, claim that their significant others are. He may not be, he may not meet all the things on your to-do list. But when I tell you that the only thing I've had to do these past few days, even though I'm tired and running around, I don't have to worry about um, anything financially. He takes care of, and he took care of everything. I don't have to be concerned I don't have to be basically stressed out about that and honestly that's the way it should be to a certain degree you know I told him I said I have the food I'm okay with that I'll pick up the food I'll get us something to eat you know but he took care of all of the major expenses um took care of all the booking you know the only thing he'll ask me for every now and then is can you call to do this absolutely I'll do that I, I, it's no, another thing on my to-do list, but I'll do it, okay? So, I am so very grateful to have a good man who was able to provide for his family because that is, to me, that's huge. All right, y'all, that is it. The next time I come on cam, hopefully there'll be some AC in here. Hopefully I'll be five pounds smaller because, baby, when I tell you I've been a fried chicken eating full, having wine every other night, but God is good. God is good. <laughs> hey, you guys. How are y'all doing? It is mid-September and it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Yes, it's Friday, girl. Oh, I got a voicemail. Hold on, y'all. Please let this be about my AC. You know what? It's one of those um, scam calls for student loans. Yeah, girl, we are still in the hotel we for, we moved to the one next door that has the kitchen. Y'all, I know these people think I'm crazy. I don't eat hotel food. I don't. Unless it's a four-star, five-star hotel. Call me bougie or whatever. Um, but it's only because I cook a lot. And so I can taste every imperfection in the dang on food. And so um, I've been cooking my butt off up here. And also because we've been picking up some pounds eating out a lot. There is not too many places to even eat out here. We're very limited. And it's been getting expensive. I mean, I don't even want to look to see how much money I spent in the past two weeks. I mean, $30 here, $20 there. 
I may have to go back upstairs. Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna go shopping, guys. So I'm gonna go to Ross because my husband has been so good to me that I'm gonna take us out. You see how we do that, girl? It's a give or take thing. I'm gonna take him out tomorrow. We're gonna go to our spot. At first, he was like, oh, we can all go out as a family. I said, do what? I don't wanna go out with JB. JB, JB and I have been going to happy hour every day. He, JB has that. What do you call that? Uh, Ophelia's, Ophelia's complex where, um, boys have crushes on their on their uh mom see child jb last night jb said well when, when we get back we can go on a date i said the hell we are going on the <laughs> i said jb we ain't going on no damn day your ass your your little butt is going to go over to kids park and mama and daddy are going on a date that's how we're going to do this so y'all hold on let me go upstairs and and reply to this email real quick okay girl i thought i done i i'm so country i thought i done they don't make any sense. I thought I had broken my flip flops. Child, please. I thought I done broke my, broke my flip flops. And I these are my favorite flip flops. I got them from Walmart a while back. And they got um, glitter. So they kind of fancy. So let me show y'all what I bought real quick while this man is set out. He went to the, to the house to get some stuff. Y'all, even though the house is not that far, we have literally been going. Oh shit, my, excuse my language. I gotta stop by my neighbors to get our stuff. This is this has just been a ripping and running type of deal, and it's just it's draining. His ass is back. Hold on, y'all. Is your back tear up? What was that? Your back tear up? It's torn on the side. It feels good out there to be. The way. Oh, it's hot, hot in the house, I bet. Um, you better not be caught up in my, my, my camera with no clothes on. All right. Toiletries, got JB a sponge, cause he been playing with my sponge and we ain't, mm -mm. Um, some more earbuds. You know, I ended up getting some wireless earbuds because those Apple earbuds, you know how much they cost at, at Walmart? First of all, I'm not buying yours. That's ridiculous. $30 just for a regular foot file. Mm -hmm. Dessert. Nutty buddy. Some double sided tape for a project for JB this weekend and some body wash. All right, you guys, this is our <laughs> oh god, it is September 14th, I think. 10 days in the hotels at this point. It feels like even longer. This is because of all the moving around. This is our fifth room. This is a bigger room. This is a two bedroom, two bath. Um, we just needed this to have a little bit more space. Let me back up because there's a lot more space compared to the other one. This is the living area. This is one of the bedrooms, two queen size beds. This is where JB will be sleeping at. There's a full size bathtub in here and sinking everything for him. Um, same type of appliances and stuff for the kitchen, but a lot more space, a lot more space. JB's filming too. Yeah, I am filming too. Oh Lord, this is, I don't know why the desk is in the king size so room with the bed, my husband's on the bed. Um, it's just a regular shower and stuff. It's literally the it is the fifth. Um, there's the color. It's the fifth room. You get off of my bed. You get off of my bed. I'm so over it. This is one of the reasons why I'm over it. Living in these tight quarters, even though this is bigger, this will give us some breathing room. Um, and the park should be here tomorrow. But this is my thing, and I try to tell my husband this. It's it's a let's say the park comes in in the morning. And they get notified by one o'clock. It is a no. You can't. You can yeah. have some. You got some pita bread. You got some stick yogurt. You have tons of stick yogurt. Ah. It's a three to four hour job. They are twenty four seven. Considering we've been going back and forth with them for all this time, I'm hoping they can get the part and get started on it tomorrow. Wow, guys. So, yeah. I'm gonna say I. I've been so. You know. You know. It's been okay, but I'm just tired of being out of my home. You know. And um, Happy you we home? had we had a good time yesterday. I didn't even think I got to show y'all what I was wearing. I didn't. See, I'm off my game. 
Um, I got a cute dress from Ross for only 11 bucks. I shared the picture on Instagram. Cute, cute dress. Girl, I got these shoes from the Goodwill. Why did the shoes break within five minutes of us around, arriving to the restaurant? And I was I was wanting to get throwed. And, but oh yeah, I still went ahead and went, went, got a little throwed, took off my shoes to get to the car. And then of course it started raining. <laughs> So it is what it is. We had a really good time though. Went to our spot out in Scottsdale. We had a really, really nice time. Um, I was like, I was so over. I'm like, I want to do another happy hour tonight. But no, we can't do that. We got to go to work in the morning. So anyway, y'all, um, I'll be cooking later on today. I'm glad it's a lot more space so I don't feel so claustrophobic. This looks like a, uh, honestly, this looks like an apartment. The layout, it reminds me of an apartment. Hell, it's bigger than my first apartment. It is day 14. This is our seventh room that we've had to transfer to. So update, it is September 14th. Um, this is our girl, I don't know. We, we are in mid-September. I don't know what the date, the date is. And the park was supposed to be here yesterday give y'all a reminder we found out that we have to get a second part because we have a evaporation leak it is a very expensive job that is costing us literally thousands of dollars at this point and it is frustrating it is it has just been a ridiculous stressful situation the only person who's not stressed is Jamie Chow um so yesterday was my breaking point it was my breaking point because we were supposed to, again, we were supposed to have gotten the part noon, scheduled for today to be fixed, found out at 2 p.m. that they don't have the part. They're working with the AC company to try to figure out where it's at. And not only that, but the hotel that we were in is all sold out. The hotel next to us that we previously, previously had stayed in is all sold out. <laughs> So we had to go to another city, which is like 15 minutes away. Not even that 10 minutes away. We're in Anthem, which is like the country. It, we're in air, okay? We're in air, we have an environment, we're good. So I, I asked my husband, my husband's not doing the calling, because I told him, I said, I'm not calling these AC people anymore, I am done. So he's doing the calling around. She says, well, I spoke to your wife, and yes, I confirmed that the part is on its way and we should receive it by two today. So my husband's like, you know what? At this point, we need to go ahead and, and book yet another hotel room. Y'all, when I tell you I am done, um, and this place is not gonna not gonna be it. So now we're gonna go to yet another hotel. When I tell you I am so exhausted. This would have made, now if, when we go to this hotel, that would have made four different hotel, four different hotels, eight hotel rooms, in a matter of 15, 15, 16 days, and it's exhausting. I'm so tired. I'm more emotionally, look, I'm more emotionally tired than I am physically tired because it's frustrating and it's more money that, you know, we really shouldn't have to spend, honestly. So that's what's going on. That is the update. My spirits are down. I've been praying for patience, and actually, I've been having, I have patience. At this point, I have patience, but I'm just done. I'm like, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to sit. I'm, I'm okay now just draining our savings account for these hotel rooms. Because what else can we do? I'm supposed to do something for JV school tomorrow. Chaperone for... And it's, it's something that's basic. But still, my baby was so excited for me to chaperone for his field trip. And I had to cancel that. Um, work has been understanding but I'm getting behind on work because my job is a type of job to where I can't have any interruptions if I do I'll get I'll get sidetracked so literally every every two or three days we're either moving to another hotel room inside of the hotel or another hotel altogether and again the reason why we're moving around I don't think I said that we, the reason why we're having to move around these hotels are booked for the type of space we're looking for meaning like 
at least um, a sofa bed with a king size bed, like a king size bed and sofa beds, those are all sold out. So we're having to do like the queen size beds if, if it's available, but the two hotel rooms we were in completely sold out. The hotels itself, not just the room, completely sold out. So I don't know if there's something going on in Phoenix, what's going on? Let me see if I got something, y'all. I got an hour to go pick up my baby. No, no. I'm still waiting on information. All right, y'all, that is it. Um, Yeah, tomorrow we'll check out here. Um, I told my husband, I said, I'm not unpacking anything. Like literally everything will be here. I'm not I, I'm not unpacking until this house is because I'm sick of packing it. Like we literally been unpacking everything because we've been in one hotel or one hotel room for at least three days. So we unpack, but I'm not doing that anymore. Cause I have, it, this is confirmation it's gonna be, it's gonna be fixed. So I'm not gonna even bother unpacking cause it's gonna get fixed tomorrow. You hear me? All right. <laughs>